Hey everyone, I'm Sammy from the Gliffy team at Perfor Software and I have a new feature to show you. This feature is the ability to create diagrams in Gliffy using Mermaid, which is a markdown-ish language that allows you to write diagrams as code that looks like this, kind of like markdown, and then multiple tools give you the ability to turn them into actual visuals. There are multiple ways that you can generate these diagrams or you can just write them yourself. Now, I am really excited to offer this in Gliffy because it creates a lot of ease and speed for our users. Most Gliffy users are part of technical teams that might prefer to write code rather than dragging and dropping shapes onto the canvas anyway. So this is just another path to quickly creating great diagrams in Gliffy. I have my page open here in Confluence Cloud, and we're implementing this feature on Confluence Cloud first, but we will roll it out to other products. Here, all I need to do is type forward slash Gliffy. I'm going to make sure I copy and paste my code here. All right, so forward slash Gliffy, and then we can hop into the Gliffy editor. I'm just going to select a basic diagram, and here we have the Gliffy editor. This might be a new UI for your team. We made some changes about six months ago in the spring of 2023. So the shapes panel is familiar. The icons up here along this top toolbar have been refreshed, but everything you're used to is right where it belongs. We didn't move anything around in this toolbar. We did add a new sticky notes and freehand drawing feature. And then over here, this is new for all of our users. We have a new icon which indicates the shapes library or shapes panel. We can toggle this on or off depending on how much space you need to read or move elements around on your canvas. And then this icon is new as well. This gives you the ability to build diagrams. We're implementing Mermaid first, but in the future, think about other ways that you could generate diagrams from code, from other products, from Markdown, multiple ways that you can generate a diagram. So here I'm going to click on Mermaid, and you can see we have multiple supported diagram types where you can enter Markdown written in Mermaid to create a diagram here. So this is an example of an entity relationship diagram. Here is a Gantt chart showing a process taking place, and I'm going to use the sequence diagram that I have written on that previous page. So this is a very basic example where you see Alice and John interacting. I can go ahead and clear this out and paste in my more realistic example, which is showing how a customer is interacting with an ATM and that ATM is interacting with the financial institution to withdraw money from an account. So I like this as an example because we know that teams use sequence diagrams to understand the process that they need to build to support. So thinking through this process, you think about the types of messages that the user would need to see to successfully withdraw money from that account. You think about what types of interactions you need to build between both the user and the ATM interface, as well as the back end, the ATM and the financial institutions interface. So this creates my diagram. It drops it onto the canvas for me. And this can be everything I need to do. I can say transaction sequence diagram. I can hit save. I can hop back to my Confluence page and it will be nice and neat on that page for me. So let's go ahead and click update. This is what it would look like if you were to turn around and share the page with your team. So this is really helpful because now you can walk into a meeting and you can say, hey, here's the sequence that we need to build for. You have both a visual representation with the diagram as well as the code down here. That's pretty cool. Now let's say I need to make some changes. I want to highlight this because if you're a current Gliffy user, we have a behavior that might not be what you expect. In Gliffy, we built so much around dragging and dropping shapes onto the canvas and I can just click to type. So um, I can say user story, and this shape is here for me to edit. If I want to make a change, I can double click and it automatically jumps me back into that text edit property where I could say customer use case. Now that is not the case with our mermaid diagrams right now. 
Right now, if you want to change this word customer to user, or you want to change insert card to insert debit card specifically, you need to make that change within the mermaid editor. And you get to that editor by double clicking, just like you do on a standard clippy shape. The difference is it hops you into our panel here where you would change insert card to insert debit card right here. Then it reflects in the preview here and you can click build diagram and now it reflects that on the canvas as well. You can, on top of your mermaid diagram, still drag and drop shapes. So let's say I want to review the customer facing copy around their account validation message. I can add a note right here, Sammy to review this copy. And this helps me let my engineering team, my developers, my UI designer, know that I'm looking for the ability to give this a green light. Let's go ahead and make that purple. So here I am editing normal glyphy shapes in the normal glyphy way. You can also use the freehand drawing tool on top of some of these things. So I can go ahead and say that I want a star here. So you have that quick way of marking up your diagram adding things on top of the layer of the diagram, but then anything you want to edit, you just need to double click. Hop in here, click build diagram, and you are good to go. So that is the newest feature. We're really excited again because I think this is going to make it a lot easier for some of our technical users to very quickly generate diagrams. I'm excited to bring this one to market. I'm excited to hear your feedback. If you have any feedback on how this feature is going for you, you can always provide feedback in the product. We have a little light bulb icon in the lower left. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and happy diagramming.